Hi, this is Bob Petty at Infocom 2011. I'm with uh, Perceptive Pixel. We're here demoing our uh, advanced multi-touch technology with the Storyboard uh, application. Um, storyboard is a, uh, an application we provided to allow people to easily browse a variety of content from images, documents, videos. Um, what you're looking at here are a bunch of previously created storyboards. Let me just pull up uh, pull up one of these guys. Um, the the idea with Storyboard is that you have some file system, some asset management system out there where you've got a lot of information that you may want to browse. It could be uh, it could be web browsers. Let me go grab a, a browser. It could be uh, live maps. Let me go grab a map. These are all truly live and connected on the internet. Um, it could be just images that you've got. Documents, uh, let me grab a PDF file. All these are being rasterized on the fly, rasterized live. Could be a PowerPoint, um, PowerPoint docs, PDFs, images, videos. I can deal with all those. And then in this case, we're also bringing in 12 live video sources. So these could be broadcast cameras, these could be predator feeds, um, satellite feeds, um, public sector security camera feeds. And I can pull in any of these and, and treat them as an object and interact with those even though they're live video treating all the content as equal content the basic concept is um, instead of forcing yourself to work within one application that deals with one type of content and import that let's just deal with the content in its native format so live video um, and live applications uh, so when I interact with this guy, um, let me pull this down here. Oh, let me go get this. When I interact with this uh, TouchCast application, even though it's running on a separate system, I can cast my touches through the SDI channel and interact with this as if it were running locally. So I've got remote applications that can be a part of the presentation and a part of the story as well, um, all over a low latency channel. So let me just give you an idea, a quick idea of how you might use this. Let's say you've got assets, uh, let's say you just had the tsunami event in Japan. If I can get this guy to delete, get this guy to delete. I've got some breaking news in Japan, I've got a map of Fukushima. I might want to go get um, go get some pictures of the devastation from the floods. And very quickly, I can put together a story to go on air with um, by deciding where I want to start with. In this case, I'm going to start with my, my reporter talking about things. I'm going to go to a live map to give people some context for Fukushima and then show a couple of pictures uh, right, after the, uh, right after the event. So as quickly as you can ma uh, maneuver these, these are again fully telestratable, um, the, the maps are fully interactive, and I can go back and forth, go to air, and come back and add content um, as easily as doing this. So the, uh, the idea, again, is to give people a better way to tell a story, a, more, a, a faster way to tell a story with uh, access to images, videos, applications, Word documents, PowerPoints, all treated as equal, equal uh, items, including live video. That's storyboarding.